Greetings. I'm Satnar Bass. I'm a patent attorney in New Orleans. I got my start in intellectual property in 1982 by working as a patent examiner at the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office in Washington, D.C. I hope that you find the information in this video useful. Now, this information is only designed to make you aware of issues involved in intellectual property law. It's not legal advice, and if you do have an intellectual property issue, I recommend that you seek the assistance of a patent attorney. 80% of the value of a typical business is intellectual property. It's really vitally important that companies do more than many currently do to protect that intellectual property. The value of intellectual property is often not adequately appreciated and its potential for providing opportunities for future profit is widely underestimated. Every business has intellectual property and should take steps to protect it. While many do, we believe that the great majority of companies do not protect all of their intellectual property. Most are likely not even aware of all of their intellectual property assets. Many companies have patents on inventions, such as new products, new procedures, and new software. Valuable patent rights and inventions can be lost if patent applications are not filed promptly due to a recent change in U.S. patent law, which in general awards a patent to the first inventor to file a patent application. Sometimes, because of a lack of an agreement beforehand, independent contractors own patent rights and inventions paid for and delivered to companies. Most companies have trademark rights, often unregistered, in their names, in the names of their products and services, and in symbols or phrases used on their products or to advertise their products and services. Registering these trademark rights is recommended to help maximize protection of them. It is sometimes best to secure a, dom a domain name after conducting a trademark search, but before filing a federal trademark application, as sometimes others will review new trademark applications, buy domain names, and offer to sell them to the trademark applicant. Most companies today have copyrights in their website and brochures used to advertise their business in patient instruction booklets and operating manuals and employee manuals, for example. Though copyright protection is now automatic in the U.S., registering copyrights makes it easier to enforce them and gives additional benefits and remedies in federal court. Sometimes, because of a lack of an agreement beforehand, independent contractors own copyrights and works paid for and delivered to companies. Most companies have trade secrets such as formulas for chemicals, procedures for conducting testing, customer or client list, pricing information, and methods of ensuring quality control. Often these trademarks can be lost if employees of the company do not realize that they should be kept secret, or if they are not properly documented and the employee who develops them leaves the company. Patent attorneys help their clients obtain patents on inventions, register trademarks, register copyrights, document and safeguard trade secrets, license intellectual property, litigate intellectual property disputes, and understand risk and opportunities when venturing into a new business area. A U.S. patent gives one the right to exclude others from making, using, offering to sell, or selling the patented invention in the United States or importing the patented invention into the United States for a limited amount of time, typically about 20 years. Inventors who wish to, wish to do a little investigating on their own can do some searching on the internet by visiting some of the websites that are listed in this slide. We now recommend searching on amazon.com as well as if an invention is commercialized, it will likely be found there. The information from the search can be used to improve the invention or may show that the invention is impractical for reasons not previously considered by the inventor. 
There have been some fairly recent changes in patent law which are quite significant. The most important are the following. 1. The U.S. is now a first-to-file country. In general, the first inventor to file a patent application is entitled to a patent. 2. There is no longer a time limit on reviving a U.S. patent which expired for failure to pay a maintenance fee, but revival should still occur as soon as possible after expiration is discovered. And three, there's a brief window to file a U.S. patent application after a priority deadline is passed if the failure to meet the deadline was unintentional and action is taken as soon as possible when it is discovered. A trademark is a word, name, phrase, design, smell, or sound used to distinguish one's goods or services from those of one's competitors. It is now possible to search the trademark records of the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office for free online at the following website. Further, one might also use an internet search engine to see if the mark is in use on the internet for potentially related goods or services. A copyright protects architectural, artistic, musical, and literary works, including computer software, against copying. The process for obtaining a copyright registration on a work is relatively simple, and persons with more time than money may wish to consider registering their copyrights themselves. The most conservative route, however, when the work is potentially valuable or there are multiple works to be registered, is to have an experienced attorney register the work. For information about copyrights, authors may wish to contact the information, the Copyright Office at the information on the screen. It is a good idea to put a copyright notice on all materials, including some contact information to allow one to contact the copyright owner for permission to use a copyrighted work. Since copyright protection is now automatic, one should never copy or use photos, text, or software from another without written permission to do so. Just because you find something on the internet doesn't mean you have the right to copy it. A trade secret is information that derives an independent economic value from not being generally known to and not being readily ascertainable by proper means by other persons who can obtain economic value from its disclosure or use, and is the subject of efforts that are reasonable under the circumstances to maintain its secrecy. Trade secrets are best protected by not telling them to another unless and until there is a written confidentiality agreement signed by that person. Trade secrets should be marked confidential on each page. Perhaps the most famous trade secret is the formula for Coca-Cola, said to be worth billions of dollars. In general, a business should get all other persons and companies who might develop intellectual property of any kind on behalf of that business to sign an agreement to assign all intellectual property created for the business to the business. An experienced patent attorney can prepare such an agreement. To avoid losing possible valuable intellectual property rights and to avoid infringing the rights of others, entrepreneurs should meet with the patent attorney before launching a new venture. More information about intellectual property can be obtained from the author of this work who is solely responsible for his content. Thank you for watching this video. I hope that it was of use to you.